Is there a panic written on your cap? Yeah, I think I stole his cap. No, is that? I yank cause me and uh, my girlfriend are big fans, so we gave our Twitch Prime so watching you in brings us closer together. <laughs> Wait, what the fuck? <laughs> what do you mean wa watching me in brings us closer together? But I'm really happy that you are happy with your girl, my friend. I think the game really wants me to play support today. Like, it, it really does. Well, everyone is kind of giving me jungle, so that's the perks of being me. What, what is the kindest thing a fan has done for you? I don't know, maybe just a gift. When I was in Korea, I mean, it's not really kind because maybe kindness is different from giving gifts, right? But I remember getting backpack made of sweets. It was very well done and I could see that someone put a lot of work in it. I mean, it was, it was, not insanely difficult, but for sure someone had to put work in it. And it was really... it looked good. And I, I was eating a lot of that sweets during my 2018 bootcamp. What do I think about new field sticks? Hard to say. I know new field sticks came out and a lot of you have uh, questions about them, but... I did not get to play new field sticks yet. I just need that if... Uh, for you. Why are load times in Challenger so much faster than in Bronze? Because a lot of people in Challenger... Okay, so I think it's very hard to climb to Challenger with 30 FPS. And if you if you load for like 10 minutes, then probably have 30 FPS in game. And probably you are not having fun. That's right. T-Brand, I don't even fucking know. He would never chug a potion with almost full HP. If he didn't know I'm here. So we are currently trading sites and they know about it and we also know about it. Oh, that's awkward. <laughs> Take W. Navi Q. <laughs> Maka is going to be very behind. So this play, I don't even know if that's so good. Look at mid CS and look at top CS. <laughs> we are getting absolutely fucked on every lane. Jungle is ahead, but jungle is the only uh, role that is currently ahead. Even after that play, it doesn't actually matter. I'm the only one who actually is standing his off the ground in this game. Uh, everyone else is like sucking big cock. And um, yeah, I mean... Definitely winnable, definitely hard. I think I should go AD because if I actually don't go AD and I don't one shot everyone, then we are not going to win. I mean, I appreciate my AD care with an run and down though. You should go in if he's smart, yeah. Oh, I'm throwing so. Oh, I'm bad throwing so. Oh, I'm bad. Ah, fuck! It's fine guys, when I get level 6 maybe we can do so. You know what pains me the most is that I actually like missed the Q like that and then they didn't even burn a flash. So basically they didn't burn shit. It's kind of a forcing, but if Maka is more, I mean, try not do that, that's kind of useless all of this.
That should be pretty good for the game. The only thing is that still that is pulling pull, pull, pulling ahead. Like even though we made this play happen, and I think there's a good play. Then right now that is is farming the whole time, right? So I'm like a bit afraid what happens when Darius joins in the fray. And then Lady Carrie is behind. Because Akali, I don't think our champs are like that good at killing Darius like overall and dealing with Darius. Well the only way I can kill him is this disappears and this one disappears. Okay, both of them disappeared. I don't actually know if I want. What is he doing? So this guy will get plates, and that is perfect because he will pull ahead. I think mid lane is by, by the way much of where we outscale them. Why are they walking up still? Don't they understand that if they all all they have to do is just be patient? Like, I mean, literally like. We lost like all the summoners because of this. Does he have stop what he does? He should be fine here. Honestly, our comp is so broken, it's crazy. Mostly bottling because I'm scared of them dying. And yeah, my level 11 parts by again. Did he just fucking ult me over the wall, by the way, or what? It kind of looked like he ulted me over the wall. Yeah, we kind of threw our lead. Well, uh, yeah, I will go for that stance. I'm afraid that uh, it's going to be like pretty hard to um, kill Darius or deal with Darius, I think. But except for that, the game is still fine. I mean, it's just important to not let them Mordrex. I think we don't necessarily outscale them this game. Like that's like one of the like the reasons why we have to be very careful because I think Kogma with like two three items is going to be very strong. And when I get that stance, I should be like a bit stronger as well, and maybe like Starag or J or something. That's fine. But like currently I wouldn't call myself like very strong. You see the one bad thing about this build is that you don't get a lot of HP. And even though you get 40% CDR then you are like pretty squishy and I don't have stopwatch even. So it's like pure like I need to actually kill some build. And uh, I don't know if defensive defensive item wise this item is better or something like GA or Sterak. I kind of like it for the damage and for the fact that yeah I don't get as burst down as fast. Three, two, one, go! I don't mana shit. Damn. Save me. I want to tweak you on Kog'Maw there and knock up two at the same time, but yeah. Didn't have mana. That's not a bad fight though. I doubt my doesn't soon. I think that is just a lot of stuff to actually get close and to kill us and he didn't. That's a little bit deep. Well, I mean, I don't think they would die. Uh, basically, I do have my uh, dead stance, and yeah, now I probably need tenacity. Not tenacity, sorry. I need either GA or Sterak. I think I might go for GA though first item because GA gives you a lot of AD as well, and I just want the the GA passive. I think we should be able to secure Nash slowly, or we even have to because we still like we should keep snowballing this game. 
But like now, yeah, I just became like pretty tanky. I mean, either Akali wins or at least she buys enough time. That looks pretty good as well. Okay. So I, uh, all I need is Kalista to damage and we should be able to secure that Nash. And after the Nash we can probably siege. We can even dive them, I think. You see, that's like Javan doesn't do that much damage with his abilities. So also the Destiny's healing is not as broken. For example, I think this item is so insane for Aatrox, but not for like every champion in the game. I kind of like it on Lee. On Olaf, maybe. But on like Jarvan, I still need to think about it. I think I should be the one getting hooked. Okay, this is maybe not so good. Definitely not so good. Fuck. Maybe I'd conquer a bit faster, I could like clean up. You can still get the tar, so it's fine. Yeah, that's not. I mean, I think I should just EQ in melee range maybe on Kogma if he didn't flash. I was, I was like trying to make him flash and maybe I would like follow him. But yeah, that was like a little, a little bit deep. We went there. Hello there. I was camping there because he wanted to steal my Drake, but that's not happening. He didn't. He didn't know it's not gonna happen against me. You didn't know that I have eyes around my head, so there's no way that someone can still break that way. Boop! Oh no. I mean, like, if, if they really want to chase into us, we can definitely turn on this. Shit, I just got fucking I, I EQ'd into the kick. Okay Akali. Okay Akali. Okay Akali. Akali is getting Akali got buff dispatch like she needed it. Keg W. Yeah, I would probably go static glass item. But yeah, now, right now with like GA and stuff, I would be basically unkillable. I mean right now I'm also unkillable, but I'm like tanked like go really deep, right? I just looted three people. Please don't tell me Akali is OP again. I cannot wait to play against Kaisa and and, and and to know that Kaisa is super OP as well, because I'm pretty sure Kaisa is OP as well. People don't know about it yet, but like, trust me guys, Kaisa is actually very fucking broken. <laughs>